Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you must-have laptop apps and websites you can download and use for online class. So I will be sharing with you a total of 5 apps and websites and I hope that they will be useful for you guys. So I've been using them already from the last school year and they did help me a lot. If you have other websites and apps that we should check out that I haven't included in the video, feel free to comment them down below. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. For the first app on our list is PDF Element. I've been using this app since last school year and it did help me big time, especially on our research subject since we deal with a lot of research papers and articles. Most of them are in PDF format, so with PDF Element, it allows me to easily edit and annotate on the PDF, such as applying highlighters, underlines, shapes, arrows, etc. on those essential key terms. You can click on a specific tab in the upper portion to apply a particular tool to your document. PDF element includes a comment, edit, convert, tool, view, form, protect, and page tab. It also allows you to convert the PDF file to other file types such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, image, text, and etc. And in my opinion, their OCR feature is the most useful tool of the app. It enables you to scan the whole PDF document and with that, you can easily copy the text. You can edit the PDF document by adding text within the sentences. You can change their font, font color, size, and more. One of the features that I like about this app is that you can easily manage your PDFs on different devices. You can open it on your phone, laptop, iPad, tablet, and with this, it allows you to edit your PDF documents on the go. So for a recap, PDF Element is really a must-have app that students should use. It allows you to edit, convert, annotate, protect, and sign documents, get OCR feature, create forms, and more. And they have a back-to-school deal up to 50% off. So go check it out. I have a link for you below in the description box. And you can visit the website for more information. Lastly, I want to thank PDF Element for sponsoring this video and even they didn't reach out, I still highly recommend this app. And yes, that is for the first must-have app for online class. Now let's proceed to the second app, which is OneNote. So I think most of us already have an idea what OneNote is, but to those who don't have, it is basically a note-taking app that allows you to make your own digital notebook add sections and then pages under it. I love the organization system of the app. Same with PDF Element. I've been using OneNote since online class started and it did help me a lot. You can easily add your notebook in here. Just make sure to save them on your OneDrive account so you can easily sync your notes from one device to the other. I'm using the 2016 OneNote and based on my previous OneNote video, some of you are asking or saying that your OneNote app is different from mine. And I think that is because you have a different version downloaded on your device. I will link a website below so you can have an idea about the differences between the two versions. So here I will show you how you can make your own template. First is go to the view tab and you can choose here the page color you want to apply. But I prefer the no color option. Then you can also change the rule lines. I chose here the grid pattern. And you can hide the page title depending on your preference. For the last step is to change the paper size. You can choose here the specific size you prefer. So in this case, I chose the B5 paper. And then you can change the orientation and margins of the page. You 
You can also add a text. I typed here the chapter, lesson number, and title of the topic so that whenever I will add a new page, this will automatically appear on the page I added and I don't need to type it all over again. And after you're done, click on the save current page as a template option. Then you can now use your template. So if you will click on add page option, the template you set will be the default page set up. And as I've told you earlier, you can sync your notes from one device to the other. For example, here I typed the text and on my iPad, it automatically shows the text I included on the page and vice versa. The third must-have for the online class is this website called Grammarly. So Grammarly helps you look for grammatical errors in your paragraph or sentences. Here I just copied and pasted this email from a website to show you guys how it works. And as you can see here, it automatically detected incorrect spelling or grammar in the email. You can also see an overview of some more information about your text like the word count, readability, etc. So to fix those incorrect words, just click on the text that has an underline and Grammarly will give you suggestions on how you can improve it or on how you can fix it. Just click on them like in here. Another good thing in Grammarly is that you can set your goals like your audience, the levels of formality, your domain, tone, and the intent of your email. And once you're done fixing the paragraph, you can now copy and paste them in your desired place or on your document. The other must-have website for online class I will be sharing with you guys is Google Scholar. It is most beneficial to those students who already have a research subject or a capstone project where you need a ton of reading materials. You can type on the search bar the keyword of your study, your research, and it will show you various research paper PDFs and websites you can visit. You can also choose a time frame for the studies you're looking for. And then you can save the PDF and open them on PDF element. And for the last one, it is the Clipboard Manager app. This is Dito. You can download this on Microsoft Store. Just search for it and then click on the download button. And after that, it will be on your hidden icons. Just open it and click on the app. Then this will appear. You can also edit the settings based on your preference. So in here, I will just show you an example of how it works. So I copied here an example word, the super cali fragilistic, and some more text. Just click on Control C or copy it. And by clicking on the icon, it will show you the text or words you just copied. If you want to reuse the word you previously copied, you can click on it and it will automatically be the word on your current clipboard. So this is helpful if you copied a lot of sentences or information and you forgot to add it on your paper or on the document you're currently working on, you can just open the D2 app and search for the text you want to copy again. Before we end the video, I have a bonus must-have for online class. However, it's not a website or app, it is a Chrome extension. This is the forest extension on your web. So to download it, search and open Chrome extensions, search for forest, then choose the extensions option. And then select the forest extension, click on the add to chrome button, and the extension icon will automatically appear on the upper portion. And here you can log in on your forest app, and then under that you can add websites you want to blacklist, so that while your focus session is going on, you cannot go to those specific websites. You can also change the time. So 
So once you finish the focusing session, it will congratulate you and allow you to share your achievements on your social media accounts. And yes, that is all for the video guys. I hope that you got some ideas. And if you want to visit PDF Element, I have a link below in the description box and go check it out since it has a back to school deal that is up to 50% off and it will be really helpful. And I hope that you got some ideas on what to download for your online class. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!